Hi there, this is Yerme from Modeler. Welcome to this tutorial in which I'll show you how to use the newly added feature to Modeler Massing Generator. And together with it, I will also share a few tips on how to make most out of SketchUp and Modeler together. With this in mind, let's get started. The first thing that I will do is I will geolocate my model. I'll go to Geolocation, Add More Imagery. And in this case, I'm using Sydney as my base because I have also downloaded the data from the New South Wales Spatial Services, which can be, and this data can be accessed through this URL. It's an open data and I have downloaded the city blocks, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, once I have set my location, I will go to sec select region, select provider, digital globe, import, um, and now I have geolocated my model together with the satellite image of it. Now, on top of that, I want to also import the city blocks using the GIS importer of Modeler. And as you can see here, I have already loaded the, the shape file itself and mapped some of the parameters, namely the land use, permitted floor area ratio and maximum building heights. Once the mapping is done, I'll just hit import GIS layer and this will produce me the city blocks of my site. Once the city blocks are generator, generated, you can see that there is some clipping here. So the way to fix it is I will just select the, uh, this satellite image, unlock it and move it a bit down. 0 0.1 meter will do the trick. Now we don't see the clipping anymore. I can lock it back and I'm good to go. The next thing that I want to also import is some context. I can close the GIS importer and I'll go back to Modeler, File, Download, OpenStreetMap 3D Buildings. By hitting this one, Modeler will generate me the buildings uh, based on the OpenStreetMap data, which is a collection of more than 590 million uh, buildings globally. Now that OpenStreetMap has been imported, I will focus on this area. First thing that I'll do is uh, I will just double click it to enter the group of these OpenStreetMap buildings, select them and clear them up to make some space for the city blocks and the generator to test it out. Once those are erased, or I could just put them to a different layer if needed, um, I will go and select those city blocks here and go to the city block tab of the user interface, hit generate button and Modeler will produce me results based on, or the new development based on the parameters of the city blocks. Now, it is a good starting point, but what I want to do now is basically test if there is some room to densify, let's say these two city blocks here, because obviously they are quite low um, and according to the to the surrounding context here maybe they could be a bit taller and provide some more density so what i'll do now is i will just select the, these two city blocks right click uh, on them and then go to modeler select city blocks buildings and erase them and obviously the reason these buildings here were really low just one story high is that because the permitted building height is three meters. So I want to check what happens if I go to, let's say 12 meters, how it will influence this part of the development. Click on generate. And obviously I quickly get some more uh, dense uh, part of the city, but maybe there is not enough public space here generated because still, if I go and check just this city block here, I can see that right now the FAR is 1.2. So allowed FAR is 1.5. So 
according to the FIR, it could be denser, but according to the height, this is the limitation, so it's completely occupied. Now, I think that maybe this height is appropriate for, for, for this city block, and this one also, but maybe the FAR is the one that needs to be a bit lower to create some public space. So this one uh, at the moment is 1.36, so let's try with FAR 1. Um, right now I, I have exceeded the rules, so I'll just go here to the select city block buildings, because the FAR was now exceeded. I'll just go back to generate, and now I should have some public space here also, or some open space, uh, which maybe works a bit better. Now, moving back, and I see that maybe changing the FAR uh, to the to lower value and changing the height limitation to something higher works actually better in the context of this part of the city. And I can do something similar here with where we neighbor quite tall buildings but we have again just the height limitation of three meters maybe we can go to 35 meters and regenerate this city block I'll just go to modeler select clean them generate and now this is something that we are getting maybe um, yeah something that could work but I want to see some more results. Now, basically what Generator does, it's not focused on providing you with some kind of high quality or optimal results, but it's basically a tool to just quickly visualize the rules of the city block. Now, if you are not satisfied with these shapes, for example, these buildings are quite long, you have the option to go to Tools, Massing Generator, and this will bring up the user interface for the massing generator options where you can set specific parameters. So in this case, maybe there are these buildings that are maybe too long, so I want to go and limit them to maximum 60 meters of length. And I'll, in here, I also have the button to clear the buildings of the selected city block so that I don't, don't need to select them each time. And I'll just hit generate again. And let's say this is something that works quite well here. And I have some space here, which is OK. And we are now at 1.25 FAR, as you can see here. So we are hitting the limit. Um, and yeah, let's say this is, this is quite fine. Now, with this one, um, I want to add some more land uses, some, some more of a, some, some different uh, uses of the buildings also and in this case I have the option here to mix different uses so again I will select this city block clear buildings and I will add also let's say the residential maybe uh, residential and the approximate ratio it's something that will show me or something that will be followed when generating buildings something that modeler will try to match so if I go three and three and three uh, roughly it should be the same distribution now it produces something that tries to get to one-third but obviously because of the the different uh, uh, geometries the values are discrete so it tries to match the the this approximate approximate ratio sometimes it does better job sometimes worse so it completely depends um, now there is another thing that I want to show you here, which is the massing strategy. There are two massing strategies built into the generator. One is the maximum heights and minimum site coverage, meaning that modeler will try to produce higher buildings. Uh, still, they are randomized in heights to give you uh, uh, more of, a, of this uh, height difference in the buildings, but still it tries to produce you also a lot of open space but if I go here to switch this to minimum heights and maximum site coverage uh, you will see that it will occupy uh, more more of this open space so I'll just go here to clear buildings and of course the buildings then will also be a bit lower right so this is then the result of this strategy so it takes more space but the buildings are lower and then, of course, since this is uh, 
completely integrated with with modeler you can always go here and change just specific buildings so if if you want to add some more variety to the heights you can just select the buildings and there and then once the buildings are produced you can just uh, change them the way you would normally approach this using uh, modeler now i'm also already exceeding the height so uh, or one of the parameters of the city block so i always have this ability to to then further modify any of the building that was produced because basically uh, the generator is a tool to quickly give you some buildings so you can you can quickly start working now the last thing that i want to show you in uh, this video is how to handle the cases like this one where you have a single unit uh, apartment buildings so i'll just go and erase this one here escape select the city blocks and click on the generate now as you can see what happens here is we still have the minimum height so the buildings are low and they are very long so this is not something that looks really well for this kind of environment so what i will do is i will go back to maximum heights clear buildings generate now it is a bit better at least in terms of the heights but still not good enough so i'll go and clear and the reason is that when i hit generate here the city block setback is set to four so um, four meters is uh, the setback the building needs to be from the border of the city block so i will change this to let's say two clear buildings and hit the generate again now this looks a lot better in terms of the of the buildings that are already existing here but there is one problem since the generator is completely random it will produce us results each time uh, differently and in this case what i want to do is i want to align these buildings to this street the same way as we have it here already in the existing context so what i'll do is i will select those buildings um, and then I will use the Align Object extension, which is available through the Extension Warehouse. It is a free extension, quite old one. Um, I'll just go Align. It's the first result, Curic Align. And although it says that it's uh, compatible to SketchUp 2019, it works well also with 2021. So don't be afraid to use it. And now what I will do is I will just go here, select those buildings and click on this align object icon, which basically will produce me this bounding box to which I can align. But I actually want to align to, let's say, this building. For this, I will just go over, hover over this face and click on the shift button, which will select the this face and the buildings will align to it and then I just need to click on the left mouse button the buildings are now aligned and actually they fit the the street row quite well so I'm satisfied with the result already and I'm done yeah so this is how you can use the massing de generator quickly generate you some results based on the city block limitations based on the definition of the or changing the parameters of the generator to quickly produce something that visualizes the rules of the city blocks and gives you insight of how this translates to the actual 3d environment and then you can use the modeler as a let's say a last mile tool where you can further design the development and actually focus on creating some plazas or uh, actual open and public space for the public and create a high quality living environment i hope you find this new feature of modeler useful and if you want to share some feedback with us please do thank you for watching and stay tuned for more bye bye